a woman can only g do, get an orgasm if she allows herself to get an orgasm. Yes. No man gives a woman orgasm. Mm. It is the woman who opens that door and says, mm. welcome. Mm. If she shuts that door, no orgasm will come. Our society raised a woman to know that sex is for the man. So most women were told that sex should only happen during reproduction yes. or to please the man. Mm. So you either have sex to please the man mm. or you have sex to, to give birth. Yes. Nothing else. Our African setting mm. did not allow a woman to express, to have sexual needs. One, a woman who asked for sex, she was labeled as a prostitute or like, you know, it, like a woman should pretend she doesn't want sex. My mm. God, we want God. Thank you. Mothers, we want sex. <laughs> Man, we want and we want good sex. We yes. don't just... I mean, we have feelings. Yes. So the, the societal upbringing is one of the major factors that has mm. contributed to this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Pest Setter. Oh my God, this is a show where we bring uh, people who go out of their way to bring us solutions to everyday problems. And today we have such Peseta in the studio with us. She is a lady that you already know and love. The love has been massive. Caro. Yes. Where, 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 where? See what you queen to to Caro. People are loving you. Oh, I love you too. Thank You're you. You're becoming a darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please. Najwa kuna mtubado hajamit. Who's this Karo? Who's this Karo? Great. Kindly introduce yourself. Great. My name is Karo, your health coach. I am a naturopathic health coach. And by naturopathic, I mean that we look at the natural resources that surround us, that God gave us, and we see how we can use them without tampering with them. And then also how we can link them up with civilization to prevent and manage diseases. Mm -hmm. Up and above that, uh, I run an organization called R&B, Rejuvenating Nature's Beam. Mm -hmm. And we are an, a consultancy firm that is uh, creating a ripple effect on the naturopathic uh, lifestyle. We are Im impacting lives to encourage us to look around and see what we can use to uh, maximize our health. I run a non-profit called HELD Sister Foundation. We hold every lady who is in distress. It's a pillar of strength for cancer patients. Having been a cancer survivor, I felt the need to provide psychological and the nutrition advice for the cancer patients. Mm -hmm. I'm an author. I'm an innovator. I am a sexual and reproductive health educator. Wow. I think, and I, I think now I've become a a former member of the Peace Setter program. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> definitely you do. I really enjoy and I've, uh, I've also grown. Um, I've seen growth uh, from my work to my social media. The, the feedback I'm getting from shared moments with just as audience. Mm, 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 wow, mm, mm. wow. Thank you so much. And we love them back. Yes. Thank you for showing love to Carol Thank and you. to us mm -hmm. and we love you back and we appreciate that's why you should uh, subscribe and uh, spread this message. Amana Mnagani? Yes. Yeah. So today, mm -hmm. uh, last week first of all we talked about men mm -hmm. and um, the whole foreplay from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. from, from our perspective. From, oh, from, from our, our perspective. perspective. <laughs> tunajitetea. <laughs> tunajitetea. <laughs> yes. yes. How we want to be, you And know. the ladies on them are like, yes. <laughs> I know, Speak. I know. Answer this one. Eh, eh, <laughs> this one, ladies were like, Apo <laughs> mese you I know? love it. I love so the if, feedback. If you, just go through our comments. If you see your lady, <laughs> know that you need to improve. Yes. But men, mm -hmm. today we are here kuatetea. Last time mm -hmm. to tetea. Yes. Because you said that women are like um, an, an electric, oven, an electric cooker. cooker. Yes. That need to be switched on Pole. and given Pole. time to heat. Pepeta. Pepeta, Puliza, whatever it is that you can do, just try. Yes. But the challenge is, iyo kuka ukimwagilia tumaji kidogo inapoa. Goes off. Iki, stima ikipotea inapoa. Mm. Like, you know, like, we are just special beings that just needs to be taken all the way. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And this is not, it can be natural, it, it is, it can be natural, but also a medical condition. Yes. Sindio. So here we are looking, actually, um, we are look, we are here to look at what are some of these things zinafanya hii jiko inapoa 
in yes. the middle of the journey. Yes. What are some of these things that would make a woman not go all the way? Ama ikatae kuwaka kabisa. Ama ikatae kuwaka kabisa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna watu wata elekisha na fike nothing. What? Ama switch um kabisa. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is the medical aspect of it, yes. or rather natural causes yes. like um, menopause. Menopause. Yes, and uh, the psychological. Psychological process. is actually one of the fa the, f the first, the major, the major one, yes. because for a woman, sex is psychological. It is. Physical comes second or even third mm. after mm. everything else. Mm. If a woman is not psychologically tuned. And I remember when we were winding up the last topic I told you. A woman can only gi do, get an orgasm if she allows herself to get an orgasm. Yes. No man gives a woman orgasm. Mm. It is the woman who opens that door and says, mm. welcome. Mm. If she shuts that door, no orgasm will come. For women. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do or rather to participate? Because that are, your partner can even get tired. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do it. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going Exactly. Exactly. They don't even like. And we say the whole process is um, it's a, it's a two way process. It You're is, supposed to participate. It is. It is. So. Uh, from for, from what I've learned from women hmm. um, and also maybe partly as my experience. Our society raised a woman to know that sex is for the man. So most women were told that sex should only happen during reproduction yes. or to please the man. Mm. So you either have sex to please the man mm. or you have sex to, to give birth. Yes. Nothing else. And uh, your enjoyment and, and yes, pleasing. There was, I think a woman was not traditionally, they were our society let's not say traditional our african setting mm. did not allow a woman to express to have sexual needs one a woman who asked for sex she was labeled as a prostitute or like you know it, like a woman should pretend she doesn't want sex my mm. god we want god thank you brothers we want sex <laughs> man we want and we want good sex we yes. don't just uh -huh. i mean we have feelings yes. so the the societal upbringing is one of the major factors that mm. has contributed to this mm -hmm. number two because of the the, the way we were raised and socialization. All this, the socialization mm -hmm. we felt i i don't like this statement but allow me to use it uh, Ananiomba, we think lazima uombwe. Lazima uombwe, imagine, yes. I don't believe Wezi omba? Uh, si muna ombana. I, I, exactly. Ama, ati, ati, ati utanipea lini. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Kwa niwea wezi nipea. <laughs> si tunapeana. So, <laughs> there's some women who sit and wait. Uombwa. So, and, and, and so she has, <coughs> she also has her own things. Mm. We've watched so many movies and you expect when you, when your man is coming he will lift you up kama wewe ni mzito hata aweza kukulift sasa unataka afanye nini so there are those perceptions we've already put in our mind yes. how he should do it mm. but my man is not your man is not the other man so stop comparing that's an, that is point number two that women we can easily lose it yes. if we start comparing. We start comparing. Like, kwa kufua, wali unasikenga wa mama, ii, wangu wana ndanga round sita. Wale na wewe unenda kugonga wa wako. Kujui hizi round sita kama ni two seconds each round. Ama pia ni uongo. Mm. You know, mm. for us, we exaggerate to make yes. our man look better. Yes. Or to feel like we are so comparing. We are busy comparing. Mm. Mm. Um, unfortunately, the, the women... The, the the women folk we are we are scared of really talking about it as it is yes and yes. we feel like oh, we shouldn't talk about these things mm, mm. And or rather we shouldn't initiate we shouldn't initiate mm. number three a woman it sometimes it gets really hard for us because we are best red cord keepers that god created <laughs> we have cabinets of all the sins that this this man yeah, did. Yeah, yes, like, arranged in dead <laughs> tight hour, minute, and the exact event. And he, even the way he dressed, it was at this time on 1978 on a Thursday at 8 p.m. Yes. He did this. Now, nataka ni kupe. Nataka ni kupe. Yes, exactly. Hukumbuki, nilikuamba pesa ya nyuele. Yes. So, like, we have all these piles, we have piled up everything mm. to a point, even when anajaribu kupepeta, mm. 
mbele unakumbuka unakumbuka aja peleka mahali kwetu yes yes una switch off una switch off haya una narudi nakumbuka alismailia eh ali, 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 ali kwa, tulikuwa tunaanga tunaenda kwa host kwa Akam. restaurant hmm. akatana kaona msichana msupu so fa nataka nimpe mimi si fanani na huyo msichana sijui nini so out of that hiyo every woman even i caro and you just unpaka nimeinuka ni kuambia hivi because me, women will not like me from today oh. all women have kiss chana kingine tumejiekea who oh. we think eh. our husbands or our boyfriends wanapenda huyo oh. kila mwanamke kwa like kimama kingine amejijengea na huko kwa kichwa oh. Oh. okay so or another any time you person? feel uh-huh. any time you feel unaona your 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 man uh, ni kama haongei umuulize what are you thinking We always assume and have created some kind of another some, uh, We somebody all else have yes. that kimama. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, And normally hiki kimama kinakwanga the opposite of how you look. Because uh-huh. of our insecurities because we women we have insecure. different insecurities about mm. our bodies. Mm. If I have small boobs in my mind kimama kya mzee wangu kiko na mama kubwa. Big boobs. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> we have this tendency of even asking even when we are quoting you ask eh, so who is your celebrity crush yeah, ama wewe rihana na wewe yes. haufanani na rihana hey, my friend mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. throughout utakuwa na huyo mama so every time you remember that kimama ama mm. that msichana you switch off you switch off mm. haya number another thing that another thing that could co- cause this is because when we, we were because of how we were raised and maybe i don't know whether it's cult i don't know what it is mm-hmm. but we believe that men just think about sex like men are only thinking about sex sex, Most sex. Of the so time. they are always looking at women mm. oh a man will always like that is a belief mm, mm. so mpaka sasa ngine aki he's so innocent he's just so innocent <laughs> okay ana kwambia kitu unafikiria mm sasa hiyo nayo ulijulia wapi mm Ulaisha na nani? Exactly, like exactly. You have. Exactly. I even I even so uh, somewhere online uh, you take your woman to a good restaurant and you come linka na nani? Ulaisha na nani? Umemleta tu kasuru ali kazuri afa na kuja kwambia eh ni sisi ya nani? <laughs> you know? so the the psychology and that's why we are saying sex mm. for women is more sex. Is it without to say ma it's psychological. Mm. Haya. Kitu kingine ni most every woman even i included we have mm. a, a part of our body that we don't like yes yes we are not there's no woman who will tell you i'm a 100%, 100% confident, confident about confident about my yes, body yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. but unfortunately most of our insecurities it's us who see i remember there's a program that we did sometime and we were a group of women we were grouped as six women and then we were told everyone write your insecurity down and then usiambie mtu ukisimama hao wengine wakwambie like if i look at you me i'm thinking wow Josephine insecurity yake is kwa nywele she's mm-hmm. beautiful she mm-hmm. like me i see perfect <laughs> so you, maybe you the same thing <laughs> <laughs> and what i think is my insecurity imagine mm-hmm. labda nikikwambia yangu utasema oh my god caro no How? it's yes. not even yes. evident so we carry these insecurities, insecurities. and psychological uh, issues that we have from our upbringing yes. and uh, civilization Session into the bedroom into the bedroom and we make it worse we tell our men oh. in a come no no yeah yes. in a come no no yes. unaona aje yes. we keep telling him until he starts Prompting seeing him yes. to confirm Mpaka aone. yes so ananza kusema ah, sasa wewe mpaka tunachoka wanachoka and for me f- the few years i've lived on this earth i've interacted with men i think they are the Le- less complicated human beings i mm. think we are more complicated we are we are we complicated and uh, talk about uh how do i say because it, it, it becomes so hard to even talk to us sometimes mm. because unaweza tu ambi wa let's let's enroll in a gym mm. that's enough for you to overreact yeah. una toka nini gym no no sababu mimi no no yes unajua <laughs> like let's change our diet eh hey. Eh, yeah. uliona wapi mkonde? Eh, eh, Sijui. Sikuzi kuna wakonde huko au mama wako wakonde huko? You yes. know? That attitude needs to really change because mm. if you continue we continue with this, imagine we'll never have And this. it's a turn off to the other gender. It is a turn off. Okay. It is a turn off. Mm-hmm. So that is the psychological bit. Then there is the medical, the mm. one that you have just yes, indeed a woman can try maybe she's trying all these things but medically woo, hata upepete hata kuje na gas na gasolina ma anything nothing will work hmm. for example a woman who is undergoing through menopause and not every woman you remember during our menopause show i told you hmm. that not every woman will experience um, low libido hmm. there are some which Ooh, it goes yes, opposite, on the other high. side mm-hmm. but 
most women, because during menopause, estrogen levels start deteriorating, most women experience low libido. So that is more natural and medical mm. because this is something that this woman has not done much. Mm. And that is where now we come in and we teach you how to enhance it. Number two, a woman who is on medication, mm. she might experience this, some type of medication. Mm. Uh, like for example, if someone is battling cancer mm. and he goes through radiotherapy and chemotherapy, it might affect this. Mm. A woman who is diabetic, hypertensive, and maybe they're on medication, and many other medication. Number three, medically, if a woman has two things that disturb women, one called urinary tract infections. Number UTI. two, yes, UTI, and the other one is yeast infection. Mm. God, those things just fin any woman who is watching <laughs> us and they know how uncomfortable they are. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Imagine yeast infection is where your <laughs> vagina is feeling itchy. It has a smelly Sorry, discharge. And yes. then you tell Apinas to come in there. You don't want to hear. Sorry, I'm laughing. I mean, I'm not <laughs> laughing at the condition. I've just remembered that TikTok I saw. TikTok Which it one did you <laughs> you see? <laughs> your girlfriend is moaning so loudly. You're thinking she's enjoying. It's pain. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a UTI. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. So when well, you are okay. medical, when you're medically not fit with these two infections, mm. which affect so many women, and That's women hard. keep asking me, why do I keep get frequently this yeast infection? Does, sure it mean, does it mean uh, there are some women who believe that it's because the man is going out? No. Yes, yes. Actually, actually, there is that. It is not. Because, let me tell you, mm -hmm. Carol, anything reproductive organ related, that's the first thing that you think yes. of. Yes. Oh my God, he cheated. Oh my God, unajua? <laughs> yes. The paranoia is so, so much. much. Yes. But I think maybe it's because of what we've gone through and the, the things we've also allowed our minds to watch. Mm. Because if you're always watching about people cheating, you will always see, see people cheating. See it happening to you. So, urinary tract infections affect especially most married women keep getting it. Mm -hmm. And the difference is that urinary tract infections come from the urine, where the urine comes from. Mm -hmm. Urethra, a bladder, urethra, out. Mm -hmm. So, what happens is we have a narrower um, urethra uh, compared to a man. Mm -hmm. And remember, our vagina is right below the urethra mm -hmm. so each time a woman has sex and then there was some urine that is concentrated on in the bladder mm -hmm. the man goes in and out in and out it causes an infection the bacteria starts wondering mm -hmm. Allah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and so every time after sex you will have very difficult time trying to pee and then you will say yeah. an infect mm -hmm. Because vagina, but because we maji, so your urine is highly concentrated, the bacteria gets irritated. Or if he pumped and your mana last time men need to know that pumping causes mm. harm to women. Mm. If he pumped very fast, he can irritate the bladder and the urethra. Uh -huh. So the urinary tract infection is more of Kukunywa maji and hygiene. And hygiene. Last time we said that men need to be clean, Mikon. wash their hands before Nam anything, domo. brush properly. Yes. What about women? <laughs> <laughs> I want to answer that question. But before I answer that question, yeah. I want to tell a woman, if you want to avoid UTIs, drink water before sex and after sex. Karo. Yes. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> Let's continue. akikuja unamuona. Unaomba. kuomba. Oh, I've just imagined. <laughs> now, I'm going to laugh with them and I'm going to ask them. Ah, yeah, 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 please. <laughs> I've just taken water, you know? <laughs> no, take water before sex and after sex to make sure your urine is not so concentrated. Okay. Number two, go to the toilet and pee before sex and after sex. Carol, Carol, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Here, I, I see time. why women will not like you. <laughs> At what point? Before foreplay or after foreplay? Okay, I'm going to come foreplay in hands of the Kimbia Chalk. Where? I could have party a homework. You can see right here. So, you know, take exercise and you have to keep fit. You keep going. 
<laughs> no, uh, but in real sense, uh, if you have sex when your bladder is full, yes, yes. Your kojo ita ita mm, ita ita mm. ita 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 antibiotics they cause yeast infection ah. uti is bacterial mm. yeast infection is fungal mm. so yeast infection gets the vaginal area mm -hmm. we have the lips we have the vaginal area and it can go up to inside so oh, yeast infection can serious. be transferred to a man mm -hmm. but uti cannot unless if there was um if if the if the bacterial infection is too much mm. yeast infection iko pale hiyo ndio iko pale kwa entrance mm. it's the most irritating now other than through a lab lab test how mm -hmm. can you know that you have either of them how does it manifest one mm -hmm. itchy that is yeast yeast mm -hmm. infection you feel itchy around the area mm -hmm. number two there is an inflammation so sometimes if you look i hope women look at their vaginas oh my god i hope they look Take a mirror. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't be shocked. Si mnashinanga hapa kwa kio mkiangalia uso. This is also a part of your body. So stand in front of your mirror. Sasa ukipatikana na mtu ukijiangalia. Si yako. But just feel me yako. And you need to appreciate if you want your man to like it, how do you not look at it? How will you know kama kuna default? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh -huh inakuwa inflamed in ukipata inflammation in a change even the color then mm -hmm. number two, ukienda short call itakuwasha mm -hmm. so for uti you also mm -hmm. have lower abdomen pain mm -hmm. and backache okay so you can sense and then of course your discharge inaanza kunuka mm -hmm. ama ku, ku change color inakwambia please do something about this okay. Okay. now this is where the hygiene the question you've asked me about the hygiene comes mm -hmm. imagine in this studio if we were shooting this video when it is so dirty hatungi atuwezi tashida tukisneeze or anything if you expect your man to come and go inside remember mm, our mm. vagina is just the entry of the inside and do inside. The, the things that we Imagine. love before going inside yes, yes. sasa mm -hmm. atakuja aje apate discharge inanuka mm -hmm. apate sweat ime unanuka imagine anaenda kukaribia na sikia tu ma sweat zinanuka mm -hmm. There's another very controversial topic that maybe we will need to address from our audience. Uh -huh. Tutanyoa ama tubakisha nywele. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nibushi ama ni dready. Ni to plate to lines ama uh -huh. what do we do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I think it's going to be clean. Yes, hygienic. Uh -huh. But kuna wanaume na wanakuambia, no, usinyoe sababu hii nywele iko na sababu yake. There's a reason why God aliyeka hapo. Okay, so we will discuss about nywele. We will discuss <laughs> yes. about nywele some other day. Uh -huh. But hygiene... <laughs> there must be a reason why God put them there. Asengeka hapa, kwa mapaja. Okay, we will discuss that. So for a woman, uh -huh. you don't need to do these extra things I hear women doing. Tunenda unanunua avocado, unaeka ukondani ya tindio. Eh, sindio ati... Ii nini? Ii titan na ikue slippers. Avocado? Eh, na garlic, wanaeka garlic ukondani. Okay. Nandimu. Okay, let's continue <laughs> with hygiene. Let's continue so with hygiene. So, what a kuweka vitu ndani. Beyond where you see, the only thing that should go inside you is a penis. Oh, okay. That in terms of cleaning now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or, if kama ukona coil, iyo ina imeruhusiwa kuingia. Mm. Kama unatumia obi, sawa. But vidole zako wacha kuweka ukondani. <laughs> Kwenda kuchukua sijui bathing towel sijui ndio wewe huko sijui unaenda kusugua na sabuni sijui talk, exactly Stop. exactly Man, talk about that yes. how to clean the right way every time you're cleaning your vagina remember mapua yako iko huko ndani hakuna mtu ananganga bafu mnampata akimsugua huko ndani hmm. but god knew so akaeka makamasi so makamasi ndio inaosha Inakuina. macho hauoshangi ndani hmm. iko na machozi masikio hauoshangi ndani iko na wax mdomo iko na mate the same way God created something to protect called vagina discharge. It's not your business to clean. Your business is to make sure that the outside is clean hmm. and hygienic. Let's let's plan that to have it as a topic on its own. Yes. So that we can talk about proper hygiene, proper reproductive, reproductive health. health. And hygiene for women. Exactly. So that we can go into details in matters of cleaning, what should be done there, mm -hmm. what all this about casual and yes. stuff. And uh, exactly. there are so many things that I hear women insert and stuff. 
So, come avocado. <laughs> let's come avocado na ginger ginger. Is it garlic? Garlic <laughs> adoke kwa mdumu inawasha. Yes, wanaweka huko ndani. Anyway. So now uh, mm-hmm. We are we were looking at the medical. This that is the medical aspect. Mm-hmm. If you're on medication, you need to know which medication is causing you to have low libido. Mm. If it is UTI and yeast infection, keep it clean, keep the bacteria, keep, drink water, mm. and also keep applying happy vagina oil. Yes. I want you to smell some this this oil. Just smell. Mm-hmm. Just smell. It has a lovely mm-hmm. mental Men- smell. Yes, yes. This one is not it, it can help sexually for that woman mm-hmm. whose nerves have sluggishly ah. stopped mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it has a menthol oh it feels really good so mm-hmm. in a in a soothe the nerve mm. this is not a sex lubricant but before sex you can apply mm-hmm. uh, okay. on your vaginal area where where per lips mm-hmm. and clitoris okay to soothe the nerves mm-hmm. in a fanyanga Ah uh, yes. So the 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 okay the this I don't know how to explain <laughs> they feel stimulated. Yeah, they feel a bit mm. a little bit stimulated mm. and they feel mm. fresh. Number two, it will prevent even if he has uh, bad breath. He has mm. bad breath. Ama mikono yake na kauchafu, it has ah, a it, it prevents the fungal and the bacteria mm. but asiende kuweka huko ndani. That's one thing you can do. Number two, you can prepare your body with the right hormones. You can give yourself estrogen. Mm-hmm. Kama ha, unajua sasa shida tuko na moja kuna wanaume wanakuja tu ma like how kwa ready like yes, and he expects you uh, wale wa hivi <laughs> and he expects you kuwa wet hawezi yeah. kuwa wet immediately mm. but if you have a kadak chocolate beside by, by the bedside na ukiona ni kama kuna maharaka you see women we are more we are very powerful mm. and we, we need to know where uh, we need to know where our power lies hata akikuja na haraka gani there is a way you can entice him and you can make him wait for you mm. usimruguzo akuje okay kuna there are some violent men those are not the men i'm talking about mm. but your partner if you talked to him nicely mm. and if you kept touching him as you prepare yourself he can help you you can help him be patient because mm. you know yeye yeah, anakuja kwanza nilikwambia kuna sex ya pressure na pleasure mm. kama anakuja na pressure Hey, yeah, and attack I could ingia malize atoke end. Mm-hmm. That is pressure. Mm. But for pleasure he will wait. If he can't have your dark chocolate. Mm. Apple. So unaona every bedroom kuna kwanga na ka shelf kamefungiwa sijui hapo kana ikangwa nini sababu kwangu hakuna. Sijui wana watu wana ikanga nini. Kenya watu. Sijui ongelea bedrooms gani hizi but watoto hawa wao kufungua kabati fulani hapo. So it should have dark chocolate. Hapo bedside. Hapo mm-hmm. bedside tuka dark chocolate. Mm. Mumunya bio bio ata mkiendelea tu kukiss for mm. play nini nini mm-hmm. it will help you calm down mm. it will help you relax but kama your my say, your mind is not steady hata tufanye hizi tabia zote mm. mind yako ndio ita so you need to bring your mind lazima here lazima ufu lazima ufunge hiyo mlango na pretend nothing else is happening mm. i'm here mm. and you choose to enjoy the sex mm. so umemumunya hiyo number three, kama bado vaginal discharge haiko imekataa we have lab, sex lubricants we have a variety for me uh, i also i tell someone if near you you have coconut oil virgin coconut oil mm. you can use it mm. you can apply on your vagina or you can apply on but the, it has to be extra virgin, extra virgin or, and or, natural usiende zile usichanganye and work for it yeah neither take the edible one like it yeah look for the edible one look for the edible one if uh, if you don't have the coconut oil mm. you can use the massage oil. the the sex lubricant ah, i called okay. it massage oil because kuna watu wanakuja pale wanashindwa kusema but unajua ukikuja kusema same massage oil mm. eh, you can use it anyhow mm. because we also use it for massaging mm. this one can be applied on the penis mm. or on the vaginal area mm. so ikiingia ndani haina shida mm. haita cause any infections okay but and especially now for men who are mean enough they don't want to use these things imagine mm. anaenda kuumiza huyo msichana because yes, yes, the really friction helpful. is it's painful mm. god it's painful but i i feel like let's to kidogo too mm-hmm. i talk on other let's assume all these factors check mm-hmm. you're healthy your mind is in place mm-hmm. now you're with your partner and you also want to help him maybe you're not sure unataka kujibamba hata wewe unataka ku enjoy yes mm-hmm. how do you also help him mm-hmm. being on the same moment mm-hmm. or rather come or even mm-hmm. how do you initiate it yes. like how do we are women supposed to participate in foreplay and the first what thing, do they do the first thing they need to remember is if you are told to go to nairobi and you've never been to nairobi mm. you wouldn't know you need to ask someone who knows mm. a man has never been a woman mm. 
so you need to help your man understand kama you the you first of all you need to know who who you are and what you want because mm-hmm. unfortunately most of us don't know what we want so akiuliza ni kuguze wapi ah popote tu it doesn't work you need that is why i think we'll even have a whole show of why a woman needs to be self aware first mm. so you need to help your man understand na feeling vivi ukinifanya hivi i like it when you do this mm. do you have do you do it there and then it may be if if he's open but if he's not you will look for opportunities i was telling you how powerful a woman is mm. you will always get to chances mm. and slip in some information and mm. men here Mm. But then they listen mm. and they will act if he loves you. Do men also it. have their own pleasure points yes. that uh... Yes. Mm-hmm. Men have pleasure points. Mm-hmm. One, men are adventurous and they are they have fantasies. Mm-hmm. So you have to play around with that aspect of their mindset. Oh. Okay. And that explains why mm-hmm. one day you need to be a school you need to uh, you need to be a very nice good girl. The next day <laughs> You need to be a Yes, that, that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that it one. It has refused to come. Out. So uh-huh. that you can play with the fantasy mm-hmm. before you get to the pleasure point. The first pleasure point for a man is Visual. what he sees. Hawezi mm. kuja hapo na t-shirt ya campaign na stocking nyingine imeraruka na sijui nini alafu na expect atakuwa tuned. Sasa nitupe ile so let him see and don't don't show him everything oh. men don't and that is why the chase stops for okay. with men okay what do you mean don't show him everything a man wants to guess that's why they love lingerie Mm-hmm. That's why they love the see me through. Mm-hmm. Ni kama ni ile lakini sio ile. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> like we are just, we are created differently uh-huh. and for them they're like they can at one is a photo to to like most men will not go and get someone with uh, their mini mini mm-hmm. dress and mm-hmm. go and k- mm-hmm. make them their wives. Mm-hmm. But when Isa Zuba hivi wakiona mtu akona dress yes. kafupi because yes, they are yes, wondering yes, hapo ndani kuna nini. Ah uh, nice. So, so let you also keep bring him that out yes, in keep the bedroom also. Mm. Don't show everything mm. and don't show him half. Like well. just keep him guessing. Okay. Once in a while do mm. a kilong t-shirt mm. the next day vasha t yake. Yes mm. kwingine mm. kuja uchi. So let him see. Mm. Another thing that they that turns a man on is mm. even how you smell. Mm. I tell a woman invest in a minimum of two different perfumes. Mm-hmm. Her sense his sense of smell will turn a man on. Mm-hmm. You there's a way you can smell and he's like mm 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 mm. mm. So be careful about these whiffs that are smelly oh, and all these things. Thank you. That yeah. that has uh, reminded me of a topic that we need to address yes. and that's the love languages. Yes, the yes. love languages. Yes. We will address that. <laughs> we will address that. So when you are done with that, mm. now he's here, he's ready. Remember for men they don't need so much mm-hmm. excitement. Mm. But they also it doesn't mean that they don't like to be touched. Mm. God they love. Yes. The first spot mm. I'll tell a secret to women. Mm. If you have and most of us have very soft, very soft hands. Mm-hmm. Just when you're doing all this plays and everything, mm-hmm. just touch his navel area and the pelvic area. It is oh very sensitive mm-hmm, mm-hmm. very sensitive and when you're touching it touch it slowly okay most of their nerves are surrounded but if you have kucha the better kucha gani? and when he least expects kucha gani kuna <laughs> kuna chera na kuna kuna plastic kuna zile za plastic kuna za rarua hapana usiende kurarua but okay. be nice be yes. but i'm telling you this area for them mm, kuteremka a... hivi migu mm-hmm. behind the knee and also uko patia uko chini yes. some men here mm-hmm. they also have mm-hmm. and you will be surprised that even their nipples Oh, men men please confirm yes. this story <laughs> please confirm this story so. yes you will be surprised <laughs> okay. that they are nipples uh-huh. um I, i feel like we've not exhausted enough okay. because there is a lot that we need to talk about mm. 
there is a uh, well issues with um oral stimulation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all that mm. uh here people talking about particles and, uh, ah, and strep suits <laughs> hey. strep and hey, all hey, that my friend <laughs> the thing right here as we finish <laughs> but we I, I just need to know does it work or does it not work how do you stimulate your partner your male partner sexually mm -hmm. especially when it comes to oral and touching and, and all touching, that yes 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 um men and women we both have the five senses so mm -hmm. even men also want to feel the sense of touch you can use this the mafuta and the lubricator to touch and stimulate the nerves especially for a man who is struggling with diabetes mm. because the nerves have really they are reluctant mm. for a man who is experiencing a, a erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation mm. you can help them you can help him uh, by stimulating the nerves and helping the nerves not to be uh, fast to come come back to life mm. very fast mm. by how by stimulating I mean what touch touch yes, the yes, penis yes. touch mm. the ball touch mm. the testicles mm. touch his genital areas mm -hmm. to rise up to make the nerves come, come back, back. Yes. so it doesn't it doesn't it is not wrong mm. there are people who choose to use their mouth there mm. are people who you choose to use whatever way they want to use mm -hmm. but i always say that sex is very personal between two couples yeah, yeah, yeah. so there are people who you will touch his uh, penis and he'll jump and tell you i don't want that mm -hmm. There's someone who told me a story. Mm. <laughs> I hope we have time. Someone who told me a story. Uh -huh. And I want to tell men. Mm. But once he had a girlfriend. And then this girlfriend said she wants to give him a blowjob. Uh -huh. But she didn't know how to do it. Oh, Ali no. Mumiza. So oh, from no. that day he hated. So get to know the two stories. Yes. Behind why they like this, why they hate this yes. and all that. Your partner is very, she, she, they should be your friend. Yes, so yes. get to know their behind story. Unaweza kutoa, kwenda kutoa, usikia slap, toa. Okay. Okay. But he's reacting towards what happened mm. in the past. Mm. Make him your friend. Wow. Oral sex is a long debate mm. but it is very personal it mm. is up to the two of you mm. and what you choose to do wow. but whatever you do hygiene is very important hygiene and also remember that some viruses some bacteria are transmitted from different from the mouth down mm. or for women and we need to remember that women have uh, the urinary tract and then the, the vagina, vagina and the anus mm. be careful not to transfer oh. the bacteria the bacteria from the anus mm. cause also uti mm. they cause all this be very careful don't transfer these bacteria from here so hygiene is, hygiene very, is important. very important yes. and also always remember not to transfer these bacteria from because even your mouth you have yeah, yeah, more yeah. than three mm. billion mm. bacteria that's why even a woman don't also needs to brush yes and uh, be clean yes so so hygiene is very important it's very important communication is the key mm. you need to communicate because, so communicate yes be hygienic yes and be psychologically prepared present. and have physical prepared. enhancement and if have you need. physical enhancement yes if you need mm -hmm. wow that has been one now when i work with fungu milango za orgasm watu wananiambia hakuna orgasm yes yes milango amekata kufungua kuna wengine hawajui wamefanya milango i'll teach you how to do how to get an orgasm how to acquire an orgasm wow wow looking forward to that so thank you very much to kimalizia how do we find you because i know there is a lot more to share on one on one than on this platform on this platform um as i said my my name is carol your health coach and that is the same name i use on all my social media platforms so you can go to youtube my youtube channel is carol your health coach subscribe get to watch the videos i've done there mm. also you can write to us on the comment section go to facebook instagram twitter if you go to the inbox and write we will be able to i'll be able to respond at the same time you can go to our website www.rnb.co.ke and from the website you can be able to send an email you can also get the phone numbers you can call and text a message at the same time you can make you can give us a call 0711 one five six three or zero seven five zero six two one five six three on the comment section i'll mm. share with you all the list of the our branches. our, our branches mm. every branch will be able to help you and all the ladies and gentlemen who are in those branches are well trained they have undergone a whole program so any question you want to ask them you can ask them awesome. and then you can be able to get all these products and if you'd want coaching you book an appointment and you come and we have wow one-on-one -on -one wow. coaching wow. or even wow. phone call that's awesome yes so remember um you can get carol mm. um on her channel right yes 
and uh, she can take you through all this. She does not only train about sex, mm -hmm. she's a life coach, yes. a naturopathic life coach, yes. right? Did yes. I pronounce it natural. right? Natural. It's natural, empathic, mm. natural, natural, naturopathic. Okay. Depends okay. on where you <laughs> I know, <laughs> Sissi, what you're primary, you go to school. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, mm -hmm. but uh, what I'm trying to say is that she's a natural, um, Pathic. naturopathic life coach, so. meaning that she uses natural and uh, available resources, natural resources, mm -hmm. to solve chronic diseases. I find it interesting when people think natural is herbal. Yes, yes, Natural it doesn't have to be hard. Yes, 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 yes. All those things. Yeah. Yes. So reach out and also remember to subscribe to her channel. She's Carol, your health coach. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shared Moments with Justice. We are on our road to 100k subscribers. To me, Bakisha, to your vote, Yako. So it's your vote that we want to get us to 100k subscribers. And uh, keep those comments and questions coming. If you feel that like there's a topic that we need to tackle on the areas that we have talked about, either reproductive, either chronic illness, mm -hmm. please do reach out and we will be happy to tackle it. Until next time, I am looking forward to interacting with you on the comment section. I am Esther Josephine.